These are the top 13 games like DayZ, and when I say like DayZ, I mean post-apocalyptic survival games. Let me know if I missed any game, and if I did, list it down in the comments below, please. Road to Vostok is first on the list because this is a survival game that everyone wanted. Currently the game is free on Steam as a demo and it's also being made by one single developer and he's doing a great job. This is a hardcore survival sandbox experience with realistic weapon mechanics, advanced survival system and hostile NPCs. This game also features multiple medical conditions, tactical weapons handling and permadeath. You also need to scavenge and use storage and also craft hundreds of unique items. Currently there's no crafting in the game but they are implementing it soon. With the latest update they also implemented trading where you can buy or sell items to specialized in-game traders. These traders can also be used for services like medical care or weapon maintenance. The playability of the game world is made from individual maps, which are unique areas and based also on real world locations. These maps are connected to each other and each map also has a difficulty rating in terms of NPC AI. The main idea is that when you travel east towards Vostok the game will get harder, but the loot will also get better. The road to Vostok has a lot to offer in its demo stage. This game is 100% free and I highly recommend you to try this game out ASAP. Dead Poly is like the low poly DayZ. Dead Poly is a polygon zombie survival looter shooter with base building and crafting. The only goal in this game is surviving. This game offers you 100% freedom to play this game your way. The cool part about this game also is that you can play this single player or you can play this on an online server. So if you want to play alone, you can play alone. If you want to play with your friends, invite them to your server. And before each game starts, you can also create your own character. Now from the beginning, you can probably see that this looks like an asset flip. Now, Unfortunately, there's a lot of assets used in this game. Now that doesn't mean the game is bad, it just means he used a lot of marketplace assets. If you can look past the marketplace assets, you can look at stuff like crafting, scavenging, gathering, gun customization, survival mechanics, fishing and vaulting, everything you want in a daisy zombie like survival game, this game is going to offer you that. Don't take it from me that this game is fun. The recent reviews is mostly positive and the all time reviews is also mostly positive. The game goes for 10 US dollars on Steam team right now. I know a lot of people know about the existence of Stalker, but not a lot of people know about the existence of Stalker Anomaly. Stalker Anomaly is the free Stalker you can get, since this is a standalone mod pack. Now there's a variety of ways to play this mod. You can play story mode with 4 chapters of interesting quests, or you can play sandbox mode. So if you want a storyline based game, you can play this game and still have a story, but if you choose sandbox mode, you can make up your own story. If you want to make up your own story, you can go out and be a bandit, or you can join another faction where you can just loot or attack attack other players. You can also raid other faction spaces. Now Stalker normally is also a detail matter. The reason I say so is because you need to eat the right diet, you need to keep your wounds free of infection, you need to seek to take out other players, or you can join forces while you loot and craft your way to better gear and weaponry. The island you spawn on is also massive and full of ways to die. You can die from other players, from infection, from hunger, or from these massive robots. Now unfortunately the recent reviews on Steam is unfortunately mixed, but the all time reviews on Steam is mostly positive. Unfortunately, Scum also has a bit of the high end price tag with 40 US dollars, then you can get Scum. Personally, I'll just go and buy Deadside for half the price or wait for a promotional deal when it's 50% off again. So let me know if you choose Scum or Deadside in the comments. Miscreated is an online multiplayer hardcore survival game that is set in a post-apocalyptic open world. Now there was this massive war that humanity was brought to its knees, and the remaining survivors has to use the unforgiving world ravaged by a mutated plague which was miscreated in the fallout. Now there's multiple things you have to survive from which is horrific mutants, hostile animals and other desperate survivors, and even the natural elements. Now Miscreated has an extremely detailed and diverse landscape featuring forests, towering cities, deep hidden caves, bunkers and even sewers. Miscreated it also has a bit more type of vehicles than the other games. This game offers you 15 types of drivable vehicles and repair them to travel faster on land or in water. Now earlier I mentioned the elements and Miscreated features an extensive temperature system and dynamic weather. And the temperature and the dynamic weather can alter your character's statistics. All of the different shifts in weather patterns include raging thunderstorms, thick heavy fog, snow, blizzards, tornadoes, radiation storms and even more. Now it does sound fun and everything but recent reviews on Steam is mixed and the all time reviews is also mixed. Maybe it's for you, maybe it's not and the price tag is also 30 US dollar landing in between of scum and dead side. 
This survival is a game that I would highly recommend people to try it at least once. The reason I say so is because this game is highly detailed and from an indie developer. A single developer is working on this game. Now Miss Survival is a single player survival stealth sandbox game. Now the players playing this game will all experience the apocalypse simulation in the form of virus pandemic. Now you will have to deal with it to survive through the difficulties such as finding shelter and food. And you will also have to protect yourself from wildlife, bandits and even the infected zombies. Now you as a player can also help other survivors and get the survivors to join your camp. Now people who are infected, otherwise known as zombies, and mutated will be able to come outdoors at night or when there's no sunshine. Which means is these infected or mutated zombies will be able to come out and hunt the players when there's fog. Which is a bit of a different mechanic than we're used to in these types of survival games. The game also offers time mechanics such as passing time, sleeping, and when you're sleeping time will be accelerated. Time will also be accelerated when you're doing something that takes a lot of time. Now the recent reviews for the game is mixed and the all time review views is mostly positive and the price tag of this game is 10 US dollars which is not bad at all. If you don't like top down pixelated games I would highly recommend you to skip this part but if you're willing to make an exception for Project Zomboid that will be incredible. The reason I say so is because Project Zomboid is the ultimate zombie survival game. You can play this alone or in multiplayer. You loot, you build, you craft and you also fight, farm and fish and you do it all in the struggle to survive. This is one of the most unforgiving games I've ever played in my entire life. Like it was so unforgiving that I even uninstalled it after like two rounds. And it's not a bad game at all, it just hurt my ego. This game requires you to to have a hardcore RPG skill set. This game also offers a vast map, massively customizable sandbox and a lot lot more. Now the game's current price is $20 which is a bit much but if you have the money I highly recommend you to buy this game. But the recent reviews is saying that you should buy this game because it's very positive and the all time reviews are also very positive. Just like the previous game mentioned Dead Poly, there's also a game called Surround Dead. Those two games use the exact same assets in the games. Now Surround Dead is also an open world survival game, taking place in a world ravaged by an apocalyptic catastrophe. Now unfortunately this game is not a multiplayer game. Now the gameplay of this is one of those games where you start to get and start to feel lonely, similar to that of DayZ and even Stalker. Now you will also have to find places to settle down in and build a base to store the items. Now the building system this game offers you is pretty good, considering that this isn't even a building game, this is a zombie survival game. There's also a wide variety of enemy types, and the difficulty is also fair, it's not too bad and it's also not too easy. The Steam reviews, recent reviews are very positive and the all time reviews are also very positive. This game is also pretty new, releasing back in 2022. Now Surround Dead is $11.99 US dollars, I personally think it's a bit overpriced but that's just my opinion. Let me know if you guys are gonna draw out either Dead Poly or Surround Dead. This can't be a top 13 list of games like Daisy if we're not going to include Rust. Now the only aim in Rust is to survive. Everything wants you to die in this game, like literally everything. For example, the island's wildlife, the other inhabitants of this island, the, even the environment and other survivors. Rust also guarantees you with a content patch every month. The funniest part about this game for me personally is that you wake up naked on this mysterious island and you're only armed with a rock and a torch. You can build a shelter in this game and you also need to eat. You need to scavenge for materials and explore this island and also explore abandoned settlements in this island. There's also mysterious monuments and there's also factions that's going to occupy these monuments. Now one thing that's different from Rust and DayZ is that you have to craft a lot more stuff in this game and that means tools, armor, weapons, everything that you do gameplay modes. You get Bounty Hunt, which obviously is where the player plays as a Bounty Hunter who hunts down one or two of the game's five bosses to claim a bounty. Each map also functions as a medium sized open world filled with other environmental dangers and enemies such as grunts, hives or armorettes. And the game's second mode is Soul Survivor. This is a battle royal mode that lasts for 15 minutes. In each match the player Player starts with a minimal equipment, which is also of their choice, which could be a low grade revolver, low, low grade shotgun, or a low grade melee weapon. As the player travels through the map, they can scavenge for better equipment and weapons to better arm themselves. This game is probably the only game that is not close to DayZ, but you can also get the same experience from it. If there's any games you want me to list in a future video, please let me know in the description down below, and I'll see you guys on the next video, as always.